All right, this is Mike with 5-Minute Guide. Today we are going to look at how to use radio buttons in Excel. I'm working right now in Excel 2011 on a Mac. Um, so the first thing that you're going to need to do in this particular system is you're going to need to activate the Developer tab. In order to do that, click on Excel in the top left and choose Preferences. Or you can hit Command, Comma if you're one of those quick key type of people. Uh, now when the Preferences pane loads, click on Ribbon. Then you'll have a section here where you can choose which tabs will show in your ribbon. Down at the bottom you'll find Developer. You might have to scroll a little bit to find it. Then go ahead and click OK. Now you'll notice there's a Developer tab in the ribbon. So go ahead and click Developer. And you'll see right here the option for Radio Button. So you click Radio Button. Click on the screen where you want it to appear. That's where the upper left hand corner will appear, wherever you click with your mouse. Um, now you can right click on the radio button and choose format control. Under control you can link it to a specific cell. So we'll go ahead and link it to K2 and hit OK. Now when this radio button is highlighted you'll need to deselect the button by selecting something else before you can highlight the button. K2 changes to 1. Um, now if you drop in another radio button this button will, by default, be associated with the first button. So when you click the second one, K2 changes to 2. Now every time you add a radio button, the value increases by 1. So the next button will be 3, the button after that will be 4, and so on. Which is great because now you don't have to assign values to the buttons. The downside is if you'd like to create several sets of buttons, let's say you're going to be creating an employee evaluation and you want several characteristics rated on a scale of 1 to 5 so you'll need several sets of radio buttons going from 1 to 5. Um, you can isolate radio buttons by using a group box. So you click on group box up here, create a little group box, and now click on radio button and drop a radio button inside. We'll make this a little smaller and we'll change the text to just simply one. And we'll create a second one, and this will be two. We'll try to line them up a little bit. They're not the easiest to line up. Now we'll right click. We'll only need to right click one and select Format Control. It's already under the Control tab from earlier and we'll make this one on K3. So we'll just select K3 over there and click OK. Now when I choose 1, the value in K3 changes to 1. 2 changes to 2. So this is how you can isolate radio buttons from each other so that they don't overlap. So that's a quick tutorial on how to do this in Microsoft Excel 2011 on a Mac. Uh, it's a little bit different in, let's say, 2007 on a Windows computer. So we'll take a look at that in our next video.